Hey, Vanessa, how's it going? Good, you? Good, good. Um, so tell me about how you chose Carlton. How I, sorry, how I came to Carlton? Yeah, well, how you chose Carlton and, and maybe specifically the Childhood and Youth Studies program. Uh, yeah, so I, for Carlton specifically, I, I always really loved the campus. I, I wanted to move somewhere that wasn't too far away from home. It was about an hour, maybe an hour and a half drive. Um, and I really liked the like enclosed campus rather than just like some busy streets. I was from a pretty small town and I really wasn't uh, ready for that kind of a huge transition. <laughs> um, but what really brought me to the program itself was I, I just I had always wanted to work with children. I just I knew that that was exactly where I wanted to go, but I, I didn't really think that I wanted to necessarily go the teaching route and, and kind of put myself in that box. And so I wanted to do something where I knew I could work with children, but I didn't necessarily have to become a teacher. I wanted to keep keep my options open a little bit there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I, I don't know about your experience, but it sounds like um, Carlton is a place you like felt like there was community and um, a way to connect with other students. And that was something you were looking for. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I definitely found found my community here, my home here. I, I just graduated and I stayed here in Ottawa. So this is, you know, it's really is my home now. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. Um, was there a, a, you know, a favorite course that you took in the program? Definitely. Um, there have been a few courses that I, I really just absolutely loved. Um, one of which was actually uh, kind of a, a pair off with human rights and, and we'll hear about them in a second, but we did um, a children's rights course and I, I really loved that course. Um, it, I, you know, I, I never thought that I would be interested in policy. I wasn't a politics person or, or anything like that, but after taking that course and, and really learning about how some of our political decisions really impact children and, and can impact the way in which their, their lives, like, like it follows them for the rest of their lives, I found that um, that was really amazing. And, uh, and another course that I really loved was, again, like kind of outside of the, the child studies realm. It was a bit of a partnership with psychology um, mm -hmm. and it was developmental psych. Mm -hmm. And so I found that that was a really interesting um, program, kind of learning about how how children develop and what's going on in their brains, like throughout their lifespan. And, and so those were definitely the, the top two for me. Great. Yeah, thanks. Um, and were there any particular uh, like assignments you felt proud of or, um, you know, really were quite interesting for you that you can remember? I know <laughs> it's hard to remember. Yeah. Um, so in that uh, that children's rights course that um, that I was saying, we we did a program or we did a, um, a project about um, about like military life. And um, so being like now a military wife. Uh, it, it was a really interesting topic for me because we we did this this project on kind of like what it's what it's like to move and and, and being a child who moves regularly and, and kind of having that policy almost like thrown onto you. Uh, and that was really interesting because we got to pair up with some other people that we knew who grew up as military children and who were moving around and, and we were able to do interviews with them and and then um, present our, our project as well in, in sort of a um, do like this big kind of presentation day. And, and that was a that was a really interesting uh, project to be a part of because, you know, we, we got to talk to people and then we got to present it. And it, it just it was really, really cool. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Yeah. Um, is there like an experience during the program when you felt particularly proud of yourself? Hmm. That's a. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, <laughs> honestly, I don't know, like throughout the the entire time, there's like you always, you know, you're you'll be proud of yourself if you you maybe finish an assignment that you really didn't think was going to go well or, or things like that. I, I think for me, it was a lot more of the kind of little victories rather than maybe like one exact like huge moment where I was like, yeah, this was this was it. Aside from, of course, you know, graduating, that was a that was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, are there any particular skills you felt like you developed uh, by being in the program? 
definitely huge writing skills were improved. Uh, not going to lie, I, I came into it pretty pretty low uh, when, when I when I look back at myself now. Um, and and so yeah, I definitely improved that. And um, and I was a I was a TA in my third and fourth year in the program. And so definitely having that experience of of having, you know, sort of teaching experience and learning how to effectively grade and, and effectively kind of work with someone to create assignments and and maybe uh, change them when, you know, COVID hit and, and how to uh, how to be adaptable was definitely something that I gained from this program. Yeah, yeah, that's a, I mean, that's a really uh, special opportunities to be a TA in undergrad. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And I think you're right, like everyone is learning how to be a better writer always. Uh, it's something even professors are up to. <laughs> um, and then, uh, you know, where do you hope to go with your degree? Or like, um, what do you think your degree has prepared you for if you're not sure where you're, you're headed next? Yeah, so I, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the beginning, but I, I also was taking uh, some sign language classes. Cool. Um, and so I actually I did that as as my minor and so I'm kind of in the process of looking into applying to positions like at schools they have some like interpreter positions that like not an interpreter per se but kind of more like an EA who interprets and works individually with that student and that's sort of my goal of where I want to end up and, and kind of what I'm really working towards right now. Cool, that's really great. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of childhood and youth studies students get a minor in something, um, and I think there's a lot of minors out there that really complement the degree in a in a nice way at Carleton. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. Did you have any uh, friends at Carleton who were doing minors within the childhood and youth studies program? Yeah, I think um, honestly, probably every single one of my friends like got a minor in something uh the the program i found had a lot of room for electives which made it really easy to acquire a minor if you wanted um i actually ended up with two i did minors in both psychology and in sign language mm -hmm. uh, and i know lots of other people who did sign language or psych or maybe sociology or or even um like a human rights kind of uh like definitely a, a lot of a lot of us get get minors this is yeah definitely yeah. a good idea yeah 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 and um yeah i mean what was uh it like working with profs in the program did you feel supported um what what any anything uh that ha you can highlight from those uh relationships or experiences absolutely yeah I, I really loved working um with the profs i found they were super helpful like you know i mean i think we all kind of come into it thinking like oh it's going to be this huge class and and the professor's not going to know who i am and and they do i mean they they recognize you and and they might not necessarily recognize your name to your face but but they do recognize your face and they're always willing to to help when you need it like when i was um taing i was uh i was a ta for alexandra uh-huh uh yeah m m Mastude, I, I always get that wrong uh, and I hope she's not listening, but uh, we we had a really great relationship and and I really loved being a TA for her because she was always just, you know, kind of what do you think would would help the class and, and just always there and and so you can absolutely always count on the the child studies profs to be there for you. That's great. That's great feedback. Um, and is there anything for if you're imagining someone, you know, uh, thinking about a program they might apply for, uh, why should they choose Childhood and Youth Studies? I think it's really a program for for anyone who thinks that they want to do like literally anything in terms of working with children. Like if you do want to go in that teaching route, it's absolutely a great place to start. If you want to go like a social work route later, it's also a great place to start. Like literally any job that you could want to have if you see yourself working with children in the future, it's absolutely a great foundation to have mm -hmm. in in my opinion <laughs> yeah 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 so i uh, i feel like you mentioned this a bit but you're gonna apply for a grad program is that what i heard i i i might um the there is a program that i'm looking at that is sort of that sign language specifically towards working with children um yeah. at gallaudet university um and that's kind of like anyone who knows anything about sign language like that's that's kind of the place to be um so I am looking into that. I'm 
not a hundred percent sure, uh, but yeah. uh, it's 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 in the works maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And do you feel like the program prepared you for for what's coming next? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I I I feel kind of ready to jump into anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, any last tips you want to offer for someone who's considering Carleton or the Faculty of Arts and Social Science or Childhood News Studies? Just just apply. Just come here, and you'll <laughs> you'll absolutely love it. I I guarantee it. <laughs> Great. Um, it was so fun chatting with you. Yeah, you too. <laughs>